Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all, J.I. Squad. You dig what I'm saying? Now, again, if you have no idea what the J.I. Squad is, or if you look at the bottom right corner of your screen and it says subscribe instead of subscribed, unfortunately, you are not a part of the J.I. Squad. But there is a quick fix. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, make it do a magic trick and say subscribe, duh. Turn on those post notifications, and boom, just like that, you are a part of the J.I. Squad, man. You dig what I'm saying? But as you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, you dig what I'm saying? Today's video, we are going to be doing the comparison, man, from the 5th Gen and the 6th Gen Camaro. This video is really directed for those people who are on the fence about buying a Camaro, don't know which one to get, don't know what the differences are between the the body styles and whatnot and uh, you know what I mean what all they really get when they get a 6th gen versus getting a 5th gen this is the video for you now if you guys want me to break down the 2SS and 1SS factors or the 1LTs and LTs and all of that just let me know down in the comment section down below and I'll go ahead and do a comparison video for you guys in the next upload y'all let me know but with that being said man let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this freaking banger video man let's get it Alright, as you guys can see, we have my 5th gen Chevy Camaro 2SS sitting right here and we are accompanied by, if you guys don't know, my boy back to the money, you dig what I'm saying? Make sure you guys go tap in with him on Instagram and YouTube for the YouTube and you dig what I'm saying? He is one of the leaders of the Misfit Mafia. He also goes by Back to the Money 1SS on Instagram. Make sure you guys go tap in with my man. You know what I'm saying? And he calls this joint the Green Hornet. You feel me? So, as you guys can obviously tell, this is a 6th gen Camaro. And that's a 5th gen Camaro. You dig what I'm saying? Now, the differences. As you can see, they really have some obvious differences. But there's some hidden stuff that, you know, most common non-Camaro owners wouldn't know. So... With that being said, the 6th gen Camaro, man, honestly, what I personally think Chevy did was they took the 5th gen and they just made it better. Every flaw that the 5th gen had, they took it and they changed it. And they took and and that's what the 6th gen ultimately came out to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you would want with a, you know, as the years progress and whatnot. But looking at the 5th gen, man, one thing that you know what i'm saying instantly hits me when you look at the sixth gen and you look at the fifth gen if you had them parked together the amount of body lines the sixth gen has is insane dude compared to the fifth gen that's one thing that i love about these cars bro they have such incredible body lines every angle that you get on this car you can see a body line and i love that i i really really love that bro it looks insane if you get up on there you can really see so look they basically took like let's look at the hoods for example okay so you can see one body line edge right here you can see another one right there followed by a third and a fourth right here now if you go to the fifth gen you can barely see because my car is white but there's a body line right here you can kind of see it right there and then there's another one right there you dig what i'm saying now we have this body line right but what they did was they took the hips for example that's a better it's a better way to show y'all they took the hips now you see the fifth gen has that wide booty that wide body kind of stance right now look at the sixth gen if you look closely you can see they added another body line in between that hip that booty just to make it different then if you look at the rear bumper on my car stock booty got a little body line right there but nothing crazy you look at this joint you got the dimple right there. You got the dimple right there. You got the dimples on the license plate holder. We just got a rectangle, you know what I'm saying? You got the dimples on the license plate holder. Then you got, you even got a dip in the ceiling on the roof of the car. So it's just insane to me. You know what I'm saying? How many body lines? There's body lines on the lower part of the door, on the mid part of the door, 
and they just flow through the entire car so well now the fifth gen has that one body line that goes through the entire middle of the door man and that's about it you know what i'm saying so that's one thing that is really different between the fifth gen and the sixth gen is the body lines man they're just way more exposed on this car like look at the bumper bro body line right here body line in the middle another body line right there that's not the splitter that's the bumper bro they just have so many lines bro so many cut edges so many split cuts edges and it makes it look more menacing in my personal opinion um like i said man they kept that as a base idea and just expanded on it and went complete balls to the wall supercar type esque um if i do say so myself now Let's go ahead and talk about the front faces, man. Some of the differences between the front faces, right? So on the sixth gen, as you guys can see, you have your turn signal, you have your DRL, and then you have your regular size headlight. Now, instead of the traditional circle fog light, you have a hash mark. Coming over to my car, as you guys can see, the traditional arch, the little regular headlight, turn signal, older model, fog light you know what i'm saying now let's look at the body lines on my car so you do still get this right here and some people do like a black wrap right here to show that there's a body line right there what i love about the six gen is they took that same body line and enhanced it even from back here you can see the body line right there you know what i'm saying you can't really tell on my car um because they're just not as hard um and then the front bumpers you know what I'm saying? Just way more details in the front bumpers. I, I just think, in my personal opinion, as I showed you guys the body lines yet again, um, we're kind of racing against this freaking weather storm that we're about to get. If you guys look at the skies, man, it's black over there. It's kind of bluish all up in there. And then further down there, it's like black. So we're about to get hit with a stupid, crazy rainstorm. Like, look at that over there. You know what I'm saying? That's why Mamba's so dirty, because I'm not even gonna wash them when it's gonna come down all week, all weekend, and then spill over into next week. But let's get back into the video. So another thing that's different would be the side markers, man. On the fifth gens, they're just boom, you know what I'm saying? And boom, on the sixth gen, you got this nice little parenthesis type mook that goes down on both your bumper and your rear quarter panel, man, and it just looks great to me. Um, they even have you know what I'm saying? They changed the mirrors on these joints. They did. Got a little bit of a groove right there. Great for carbon fiber. You know, we got the regular mooch. Kept the little triangle thing, you know. I think the window designs are the same. I think the windshields are the same. Um, no sunroof. Sunroof, but still there's no dip in, in the hood as in there is one here at that body line right there. Um, and then going to the rear end again, as I showed you guys, the tail lights are completely different from the fifth gens. Now, obviously, you guys can tell I have the sixth gen conversion tail lights on my car now, you know what I'm saying? But I just felt like these had more, they got more attention to detail, man, because you can even see there's like kind of mimicking the Corvette, but also mimicking the body lines on the car. You know what I'm saying? You can see them in the tail lights, and that's why I love them because it just those arches look so good to me man you know what i'm saying the diffusers go man they kind of kept the same idea but they just gave it a little bit of a harder edge man so it looks more aggressive like what <laughs> like it looks it looks plain jane compared to that man so with the sixth gen as far as the out the exterior goes man the big difference is gonna be just the body lines man they're more significant and they stand out more on these cars now if we go into the interiors now that's when things get different my boy back to the money has his car locked so i think we're gonna start off with my car and then we'll hop back into his car you did all right y'all first and foremost make sure you go tap in with the instagram ji productions underscore go tap in but hopping into my car as you guys can see you know what I'm saying? Let's start with the door cards because they're very different in the six gens. So you have some some cars had like the red door cards, some cars had the black door cards, some cars have the cloth door card. Um, mine came with like this gray metallic door card. It also follows through the trimming of the dashboard and then meets the passenger side. I just did red carbon fiber on mine. 
Now, I really want the red insert for this door cart. So if you guys know anybody who has one and is selling one, let me know down in the comments below because I'm looking to grab ASAP. Now, even the door jams, it says Corvette right here on this nice, I mean Corvette, it says Chevrolet right here on this nice like kind of aluminum panel right here. Um, then the seats, you have full leather seats, um, and as you guys will see once we get to Money's car, he has cloth seats, so they're a little different, but the shape of the seats are even different, how they're bolstered and everything. Um, honestly, I really love these seats, they're very comfortable, I've actually fallen asleep in this seat a couple times on my way to school, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> so then, we step right in, um, and you're, <laughs> you're greeted with this basic steering wheel from a Chevy Cruze man you know what I'm saying so that's one thing about the fifth gen that I don't like um, is the Chevy Cruze steering wheel with the Chevy Cruze airbag but it is what it is you got the radio uh, infotainment station right here you got the gauges right here I love that um, and then you got the little baby digital dash mook with the uh, analog you know miles per hour and tachometer then I also have the 2SS so I have the heads-up display um, I have the you know accessorized rear view mirror and the sunroof now honestly I got the heated and cool uh, not cooled but heated seats um, and then other than that that's pretty much it for the car the car came with the Boston premium auto so you know got the good speakers in this joint don't cap you know what I mean definitely slaps but um yeah man honestly for my interior that's pretty much it the thing that saves this car a lot is the sunroof I got to keep it a buck it definitely changed the entire uh, driving feel of this car and then also the fact that it has a navigation system I really love that um so now let's go ahead and hop in that sixth gen and show y'all the differences all right, y'all, another huge difference between the 5th gen and the 6th gen is going to be the fact that they have keyless entry, bruh, even on the damn trunk. So basically, you can put your key in your pocket like that, you know what I'm saying? Boom, in the pocket, hit that little button, and it unlocks the whip. Now, the door carts, as I was telling you guys, is completely different um, from the 6th gen and the 5th gen. As you guys can see, now you have this you know soft plastic up here you have the leather right here and then some more soft plastic for the knee bolstering now if you have like a 2SS model or whatnot it'll have the light bar right there but again I said I'll tell you guys if you guys want to know more about the differences between the SS's and the packages and stuff like that y'all gotta drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know but this right here is different so instead of it being that aluminum piece it's just a little plastic um, and then he has the cloth seats because this is a 1SS. As I told y'all, the bolstering on these seats is completely different from mine. As y'all can see, it's not cap. But jumping in, because the rain's about to come. <laughs> jumping into the interior, the steering wheel is completely different. And if I do say so myself, it is hella clean, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that it still has the SS right there. And then they went back to the 2010, 20. 11 joints with the Camaro and the circle um then you guys get the full like real actual digital dash MOOC 200 on the dash let me see if I can get it to do the, the little my link you know what I'm saying different infotainment center um different vents different gauges uh these come with Apple CarPlay you know what I'm saying even the little button for the dome lights is different the holder for the button is different same little uh after, like not aftermarket but accessory uh you know review mirror um and then even the door handles are different on my car they're down here they're up here now a lot of people complained about that i don't know why it's not that big of a deal get a quick start a push button start man we don't have that in my car but it is what it is roll the window up for my boy because it's about to rain but look at that look at that dash sheesh nasty bro nasty let me get out of here before I drop off. All right, y'all, just like that, that's actually gonna do it for this video. Like I said, there's not too many differences between the fifth gen and the sixth gen. Um, one thing that you guys probably didn't know is that the sixth gen has a button for the trunk and the fifth gen doesn't, man, you know what I'm saying? Also, the trunk spaces for both are completely different. For the fifth gen, there's a whole bunch of trunk space. Y'all see my trunk space. But for the sixth gen, let me show y'all real quick before I end this video, they got a little button right there pops the trunk we don't got that but their trunk what the hell is that you can't fit nothing in there 
There's no sock. Where am I supposed to put my tank? Where am I supposed to put my compressor, man? You know what I'm saying? Chevy, what the hell? We still got the same stupid opening for the trunk, but that joint, that ain't a, that's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. With that being said, y'all, that's actually gonna do it for today's video. Like I say, huge shout out to my boy Back to the Money for allowing me to use his car. For the comparison, man, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go tap in with my boy. Help my boy get to 1K subscribers. He's at 780 something right now, man. He ain't that far away. Speaking about the man, the myth, the legend himself, Back to the Money, the leader of the Back to the Money Nation. Back to the gang, 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 you dig? My boy Back to the Money, let me give him the keys to the Green Hornet back. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate you, big dog. But yeah, man, like I say, that's gonna be it for this video. Huge shout out to my boy. Make sure you guys go subscribe. Make sure you guys go drop a comment. Let them know J.I. Squad is in the building. Uh, turn on those post notifications. Make sure you stay tuned. Smash that subscribe button, man. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.